Good morning. It's the 27th of May, 2020. My name is Mark Pesci. Welcome to the next 100 seconds. We're starting to see in the chronic levels of the pandemic that we're getting very worried about second wave infections. And so we're being very careful about the social distancing. And the question is how careful we have to be about that. It's not that individuals don't have to worry about this. That's absolutely the case. But now we're actually taking a look at the apparatus of the state being used to enforce social distancing regulations. We saw, in fact, just yesterday, Andrew Constance, who's the Minister of Transport here, said they'll be using the CCTV cameras on the train network and they'll be hiring hundreds of people to be taking a look at the crowding on the stations and on the trains, and then they'll know whether social distancing is being observed. But one wonders what that means. What will they do? Will they stop a train? Will they clear a platform? How will they affect that? And in Singapore, we saw the robotic dogs being called out to help prevent people from getting too close together in public parks. Both of these really look like the kinds of surveillance that you don't want, the kind of surveillance that's difficult to roll back after the pandemic ends. And so we have to wonder, where does the locus of responsibility actually sit for preventing a second wave? Can it possibly sit with the government? Can the government possibly police every behavior? Should it even give the impression that it's doing so? Or is the best kind of infection control the kind that derives from self-control. And that's 100 seconds.